So now let us look at the demo um, of this extension. I'll first show you in place editing of modules, menu item, articles, and page titles. So here I'm logged in at the front end of my local Joomla installation. As you can see, currently the editing is enabled. You can enable or disable editing at the front end by either clicking on the link at the top right corner of turn editing off on. So if I click on it, editing is now off. And if I click on it again, editing is enabled. You can also enable or disable editing by pressing the key E. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you hover, when editing is enabled and when you hover over a title, suppose this article title, a background color comes up which shows you that this title is editable. You click on it and it gets replaced by a text field. You can then enter the new title. And either press, uh, press enter or click on save. And that's it. The new article title is saved. Similarly, you can edit page titles, module titles, and even menu item titles. So, next, uh, I'm going to show you editing of articles in a module pop up. So you see these edit icons next to next to the article title. If I click on one of them, a model pop-up will come up and you can edit your article over here. I've used the tab editor interface so that it is easy for the user to switch between the different options. You can just make the changes and then click on save. And there it is. The article would be saved in place and the page would not be refreshed. So that's a pretty cool feature. Next, we will look at editing of module parameters in a model pop up. So you, you can see all these edit icons next to the module titles as well. If I click on one of them, Again, a model pop-up will come up and you can edit the module settings and parameters over here. Suppose I change the title of this module and then I can click on save. Again, you see that the title has changed and the page is not refresh. So this makes the process pretty quick and doesn't involve loading a couple of pages. So it saves a lot of time. Now let me show you the drag and drop placement of modules. So when you hover over a module, you can see this that the cursor changes to the move cursor and also you can see a dashed border around that module. And you can just click on drag that module into a new position. And that's it, the new position gets saved. You can also move the module between different positions. Like I can move this module to the left position. And there it is, it gets saved. Now if I refresh the page, the positions and the article titles and everything is saved. Uh, now, I also made an admin uh, section for this extension where you can configure its settings. Over here, after you have applied the hacks that was for the installation purposes, these are the settings. When you first start a new session, you could either enable or disable editing by default. You could also enable or disable editing of modules. Similarly, disable editing of menu items and page titles. Enable or disable dragging.